people are the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people are seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly peoplablockspotcom and my soaps, purple butterfly soaps, can be located at peoplablockspotcom. And I had my hair in a high single pony puff um, for the last couple of days, and I've gotten a lot of responses on it, including a request on how I got it that way because apparently folks have broken their ponytail holders trying to get this look and they've used bobby pins which never works trying to get the look and it's my simplest hairstyle so I figure I'll just show you exactly what I do and show you what I use and this is a curl rod for like um, a perm rod for like rolling your hair in very tight curls. This is my ponytail holder. It doesn't break. It gives where it needs to give and it gives me the look that I need to um, achieve when I'm using it. Plus, there's always one or two in my purse. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. Okay, I too have broken many a ponytail, many a ponytail holder, clips, all of that. These, if this pops right now, you get, you know, what? two dollars and fifteen cents for a dozen of these so that's why I use them they're cost-effective but let me get rid of the glasses right quick and show you exactly what I do first I comb all my hair up this is a horn comb by the way because I've also broken many a plastic comb in my day. <laughs> These combs are stronger than my hair. And they're all natural. There's no seams and no issues there. Now, 14 to 1. Because you always have to add a little slip. Or moisture or conditioner or shine this does all those jobs is even considered to be a curl activator there we go I always like to make sure I get it all the way through. And that also keeps it from tangling and snagging and all that good stuff. Now while you're combing it up, you're also grabbing it with your hand here. Basically, you're holding it into the ponytail that you want to create. But, uh, that's also a good time to comb your ponytail so that way it's not a tangled mass when you get done. And if it's going to tangle, at least let it tangle in a controlled manner. Now you're going to take one of your um, perm rods. You want the plastic part at the base of your head and the elastic part at the front. And I'm still holding on to the ponytail. I got this finger here holding this part of the perm rod. And 
go around, flip it in. And then I'm going to just twist it so that way it's on the flat part of my head because otherwise it will make a different format. You do this enough time and you'll see what I mean. Now you're going to comb it. And that's the only thing I did. Now say for instance you don't want it this far up, you want it more towards the back, just pop it out of there. And since it's already combed up, you just direct it to where you want the finished product to be. I usually don't take it this far to the uh, middle of my hair, usually I don't go past my ear. But since folks asked, oh, let me show you what happens if you do it on the front. Other than it's harder to get it into the clip. Eh, come on. And, and part of that just got right in my hair because out that's why I don't do it in the front <laughs> Ow. I did snag a good deal of my hair when I was doing that but just for argument's sake because somebody will ask if I put it in the front other than being more difficult to handle It can actually be seen that way. See what I'm saying? And that gives it a look of not quite being polished. Ah! And since this one snagged me and caused me pain, I'm going to put that one on timeout and grab this one. <laughs> now. Let's go over that again. I know the lighting in my room isn't, oh, say, the top 100 percentile of bright, but it's what I got. So, you know. Now, I have my hair in a ponytail. I have this facing the back. I have it coming out this way where I can twist it and grab it on one side and bring this one around to meet it, clip it in place, and then I turn it to the back, so that way it's facing right here, give it a couple little fluffs, shake it, press it, and I'm done. And not only because this is not a rubber band, it's no tension, there's no pulling, there's no discomfort whatsoever. I can scratch my scalp, I can adjust it to make it higher, or I can just literally pop it loose without any kind of effort whatsoever. I can use a bigger one, I can use a smaller one, depending on how much fluff I want you know, it gives me more control, basically. So let's do that one last time. So you can see what I'm doing. It's coming out here. I'm pushing it down into my hair. And then I'm coming around. And then I hold both sides of it before I release. So that way I can turn it to where it needs to go. And then I just puff it into place. Another thing I do, nightly maintenance, because the only way I get the nice, round, flat, perfectly even um, puff that you've seen in my um, Facebook entry, I take my bonnet, I put it right through the middle, 
and then I wind it to the sides. That way, by the time morning comes, it's in a nice, even, perfectly matched shape. And that's all I did. So, at that point in time, I put on my glasses so I can, you know, finish reading my Bible and getting ready and get dressed and so forth and so on. Oh, and in the morning, do not take the bonnet off until after you're completely dressed and ready to go out the door. And then you push it up, push it up, push it up, and then release. And that gives you, I mean, look, even now it's kind of molded into place. And that's all I did. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blackspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. And get yourself a dozen or so of these. If you already got a dozen or so, because every naturalista has bought these rollers at least once in their life, these things are great for ponytail holders. Y'all stay best to stay tuned. Bye now. It also gives me more height. Just because it's a looser format instead of the tightness of a ponytail that locks your hair into that format this can move so give it a try